Hey, what up, everybody? Stevie Breach coming to you this morning. We're on the road to WrestleMania. Yeah, come on. Hulk Hogan, Monday night, came out there. He was all pumped up. He was big time fired up for the big time uh, WrestleMania 30. Of course, he's the guest host of the big, uh, what's it? Call it the big show, but uh, you know, it, it's the big extravaganza. The, 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 Wrestling shows of wrestling shows. Each WrestleMania every year is bigger than the last. Each one better than the last. It just keeps getting better and better. Hogan, of course, coming home. The 30-year anniversary of WrestleMania. The 30-year anniversary of Hulkamania. He had to come out there and make a big-time splash. Hogan came out there. He said that uh, this was going to be the biggest. The end all say all of WrestleManias, and he had an announcement to put it on there and uh, basically tie in WrestleMania with plugging the big uh, WWE network. And, and he says he's been sitting at home and he's been watching his matches and he's been watching the WrestleMania classics that he put on when he would wrestle the Macho Man, Randy Savage, King Kong Bundy. And his favorite match of all time, Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant, of course, the first WWE Hall of Famer of all time, went in uh, during the first King of the Ring pay-per-view. They had a uh, sort of uh, dinner, luncheon sort of uh, deal where they inducted Andre as uh, being the legend of the WWE. Um, you know, Vince is a uh, big guy that uh, he brought in, of course, when he... You think of Andre, you think of all the uh, over-the-top battle royals uh, that he used to he used to win and compete in back in the day. He won the he won the battle royal at WrestleMania two that involved the uh, the football players and the NFL players last eliminating um, the Hart Foundation. It was the Hart Foundation and, and Andre in there, and um, basically Hogan wants to do a battle royal this year. A mini Royal Rumble, I guess you can say, with 30 guys in there. I'm guessing that more than likely you're going to be putting all the guys on the show that weren't involved in a program to get on to WrestleMania. More than likely you'll see some NXT guys get in there. Because I can't think of the roster on WWE really being that big. Uh, some of these guys might be the first time you've seen them in a long time. I'm not sure if it's, if it's fair to bring back the JTGs to get the WrestleMania paycheck. Your Yoshi Tatsus, um, you know, the guys that really haven't been on TV. You got a guy like Zack Ryder, more than likely, he's going to get on WrestleMania because of this. He's trying to get the uh, career turned back around with the uh, YouTube, uh, uh, was it Long Island IC, bringing back the channel, bringing back the videos, unfiltered uh, rants and views, and. Uh, Hopefully he'll bring his dad back and all that. That was sort of sad when that went away. I, I would uh, not watch that for a while, and then all of a sudden I'd watch like four or five episodes in a day. Ryder's always a pretty funny guy. You can definitely see that when uh, it started to get put on the WWE YouTube page, uh, the show changed a little bit, but it was still good. So, was, I mean, as long as they can go back to doing what they were once doing and try and recreate that magic without having to... Have Ryder go through the middleman, I think it'll be all right. Honestly, when this match was first announced, the first guy that I honestly was like, this is the guy who's gonna win, was the great Khali. And great Khali, one of the highest paid WWE wrestlers. That's the one reason why you always see this guy on all the shows, is Vince is trying to squeeze every last dollar that he's put into uh, the great Khali. I know that when Khali came in, uh, that first run he had where he was facing Cena and this, that, and the other. Um, and he was the uh, the champion on SmackDown with the World Heavyweight Championship belt. That was about as, as, as good as he was going to get. People really didn't like him. He moved too slow. They had to edit the hell out of his matches, this, that, and the other. But uh, honestly, uh, I mean, that, that's, that's the best of Great Khali. And uh, since then, he's really deteriorated a whole lot of problems with his knees. And uh, it's hard to get him to stand up for a long time. But, uh, you know, he's a really, really big star uh, where he comes from. And uh, WWE, you know, always tries to remember that. You know, India is a market that uh, they really, really uh, try to tap into. There's a ton of people there. 
wrestling is really, really huge there. Cole Cabana did a whole uh, um, podcast with him and Sanjay Dutt talking about them going over and wrestling and just basically ring set up in the middle of fields and just thousands and thousands of people coming from all over. And Cole Cabana, you know, as big as a star you think he is because of his Art of Wrestling podcast, his time in Ring of Honor, being CM Punk's friend, in India, they made him look like, you know, Hulk Hogan. They had him on billboards miles and miles away from where these shows were going to be, and people were trucking in to see him. Um, you know, those those people want to see, uh, you know, the great Kali, uh, you know, above um, above and beyond, he is one of, one of the biggest guys they got. But honestly, I don't know why I missed it. You know, you go back and you check the uh, WCW you know, lineage, uh, they used to try uh, and put over uh, Big Show when he wrestled there as the Giant. They always said that he was Andre the Giant's son, even though they really didn't look anything alike. You know, he didn't have the Andre hair or anything like that. He just was big and he wore the Andre singlet. And um, the, uh, the Big Show was recently on the Stone Cold Steve Austin podcast. I listened to that yesterday. Uh, while I was at the gym. That was a pretty good listen, honestly. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, they basically answered the question that uh, you know a lot of people have been asking for a long, long time. Why you know, the big show was brought into WWE as Paul White and supposed to be such a huge, big deal for WWE. And then Stone Cold Steve Austin beat him like on his third week on Monday Night Raw. And uh, they were just basically trying to get him out of his WCW ways to become a WWF, WWE guy, uh, where basically, you know, he needed to uh, be smarter and think about, you know, who he was, what size he was, and just basically treat it like he could take anybody on at any time. And he talks about him uh, getting all fired up in the ring on Stone Cold Steve Austin and, and Austin and Vince getting what they wanted out of him and then figuring that's how they finally got the motor started. That's probably more than likely the reason why uh, they, they booked Big Show to lose that fast and took some momentum uh, out of his sails. Where are you going? That's why I think Big Show's going to win this match. I can't really think of 30 guys that are going to be in there. Extreme Nick, he put a video up with his prediction on naming the 30 guys the other day, but I'm just going to give you the winner. Big Show. Head on out to Vegas. Call him up on the internet, uh, gambling sites. Big Show's the guy you want to pick. I know Brian Alvarez, he's been sort of, uh, you know, saying that he thinks Alexander Rusev is gonna, the guy who's going to win it. Um, you know, they haven't had him wrestle a, a match on television yet. He wrestles on a lot of the house shows. Uh, he wrestles in the dark matches uh, before the shows, and he's just been walking out on uh, WWE TV, you know, just basically doing his little promo deal. And, uh, you know, somebody's got to win this thing, and it would make sense to give him a WrestleMania win right out of the gate, but I'm going to believe that, you know, WrestleMania 28 really didn't work out the way that, um, you know, WWE thought it was going to. The Big Show getting his WrestleMania moment, knocking out Cody Rhodes. It just isn't really remembered. Big Show's a guy who really uh, deserves uh, a WrestleMania moment for everything he's done. By far, not one of my favorite guys. Some of his older stuff is better than his newer stuff. But um, still uh, still one of those guys that deserves to have it. You know, you just think about how long he's really been there. What year did uh, Big Show debut for WWE? I believe it was WrestleMania 15. 15 WrestleManias for the guy. Good God. All right, everybody. Big Show for the win. Peace out.